Mayor Hogsett wants to put $7 million into the Indiana Convention Center to make it COVID safe for visitors. But one big convention just pulled the plug because it could not reach an agreement with the Marion County Public Health Department on how to safely hold its meeting. Last year, the PRI convention brought in 67,000 people and left behind $65 million. There were hopes during the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic that a more modest meeting could still be held in December with 25,000 attendees. Ultimately, uh, what we were able to, to, to put on the table to say this is this is the, the the sheer amount of people that we can have in the city 15,000 inside the walls of the convention center in a safe manner didn't match uh, what PRI could 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 and wanted to put in place a statement on PRI's website from its president Dr. Jamie Meyer read quote while we certainly respect the tough job that local public health officials have in keeping their community safe, it became clear that we wouldn't be able to provide a trade show environment in 2020 with the business and networking opportunities you've come to expect. Downtown business owners say they need the money a slowly rebounding convention industry would bring them. I think a good faith move would be to bring PRI here and get them here with the 23,000, get the health department off their behinds on this and get to moving on this. This is a big deal for us and it could start that turn back to getting back to normal. Since mid-July, Visit Indy has hosted more than 20 events, totaling about 50,000 people. And Chris Gall said no other city has done that in the last two months. People need to be responsible, conscious of what's going on, wear the masks, you know, social distance, do whatever you got to do, but we got to open up the city for business. We have to. The best Visit Indy can say to PRI now is better luck next year and every year through 2025 because that's how long the convention contract lasts. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Russ